So I seem to be making a little bit of habit of this, starting at power stations. Welcome back to Overland and Z. We're down south again. We're um, down for, for a bit of a family holiday and I thought I'd sneak out and bring you guys along on a couple of mini adventures I'm getting up to. Thanks to our patrons for help making this possible. Learn more in the description below. You join me at the Lake Oha Dam. And we're basically gonna head that way, into the hills. And apparently there's a little track that runs along the side of the canal here, across, up, and comes out around Lake Pukaiki. So yeah, let's jump in the truck and um, head off down the road here. So basically got a couple of days, staying in Twizel, it's the first um, trip with little dude, he's two months old now and kind of working our way slowly down the South Island. Yeah, it's harder to do long days when you've got a little kid. And yeah, you know, obviously you can't take newborn off-road really, so adventures with him are going to be reserved for tomorrow when we haven't just driven so far and we're going to head up Mount Cook, which will bring you guys along too. But today I thought it'd be cool, just head out, spend an hour or two and um, explore some of the canals around here because we just don't have anything like this in the North Island and the Mackenzie country is beautiful. I love it here and I wish that I could have spent a bit more time here last year. So we're going to punch up to the hills here and see where we end up. Lake Bearmore behind me here. What a stunning, stunning view. This is absolutely incredible. Just having a couple of days here just to come and explore some of these areas is pretty cool. And um, get the weather like it is today. Oh, I, I don't think I've taken more photos in, well, I can still see the power station just back up there. 500 meters, I've stopped many times in autumn, Mackenzie country. It's awesome. Anyway, I need to go that way, figure out where we're going. Should be a river and um, figure our way through that. So let's roll. All right, now the fun part. The river just there. According to the satellite views and stuff I've got, there was a path just back there. So it's good to remember that like, with all these navigation apps and ours included, things do change quite frequently and what can be, you know, an easy drive can turn into a hard one. A thoroughfare can disappear, new ones can be created. You know, they are mostly guides. And that's where the navigator, you can go through and post a comment to help people along who may not have been to these places before and where our track logs may not be 100% up to date. Anyway, trying to figure out how to get over there somehow. I'll bet you it's going to go all the way back up to where I was just before. I found a path. I always like to get out and just walk these things first because you have to plow into a river and um, not be sure where you're going because that's pretty deep. I imagine if you went down there you'd be having a bit of a bad day. This way though. If I can get here without falling in the water myself. There's fish in there. If you guys can see that, yeah. It's there, there's fish. I reckon. That looks pretty doable. I love these autumn colours too. Just don't get this up in Wellington.
don't know if this is going to come across on camera, but first time ever I've been down south, just out there, that tall mountain, it's Mount Cook. I really hope you guys can see that because that is epic. Rivers. They're never as bad as I think, but it's really like I just don't drive them very often and I'm trying to figure out a path over this. It looks fine, people have gone before me. It's always kind of scary. Doesn't bother me at all. Rivers, though, just yeah. I don't know. Something I've been stuck in water, I guess. Looks kind of deep. So, if I could wander. It's not going to catch me out, so I'm going to get stuck in here. As there's nothing to winch you off. The second I walked into the water, I realized I may have overestimated just how deep it was, and it wasn't worth getting my pants off. So it's not super duper deep. I think we'll be alright, I hope, because if I get in here and can't get out, I don't know what the plan is. Just that first little bit, and beyond that, it's fine. And we're through. So I'm sure on video, that was gonna look pretty tame. I'll be completely honest, these things normally do, and um, yeah, I'm glad though that I dropped the tyre pressures, went out and walked it, just to be sure, because there's nothing worse than getting into a river and finding out that it's quite deep, and that you can't get through. Anywho, next little river crossing. Cool little place though, like the pylons there are all up on the stilts so that the river doesn't hit them and ah. Righty, so back on the road to Twizel. This has been pretty sweet. Very, very bumpy on the way back out. That's all good though. It's one of these places that um, keeping an eye on the weather is probably a real good idea. There's meant to be a big storm coming through tomorrow, so I probably wouldn't do it then. Today though, it's that deep, but that's all good. So still on the riverbed down here, and I guess when when the big rains do come through, maybe this ends up underwater. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, cool place down here. It's really different over the side of the river. It's far more barren or something. Like there's some trees just over there, and. Not much else, I guess we're still on the riverbed. It's nice and bumpy. Before too long, I came across a bridge that I've seen on social media a couple of times. So I always wonder where this bridge is. So it's cool when you just stumble across things like this. It's pretty narrow though. By this stage, the bumps of the river were really getting to me. How you South Islanders do it, I don't know. I'm getting there. Hopefully just up there. 
try and smooth things out a bit and actually make some progress. It's pretty incredible though, like, you see so far. And there's just things out here, this whole chimney. Seems there's once a house here or something. Though, not really that high up above the riverbed. So I don't know if you'd really want a house. It's pretty amazing though. It's a pretty cool spillway. It's huge. Anyway, highway's just up on top of it. I'm going back up there. That wraps up the end of this track. As far as New Zealand Instagram spots go, heading up the side of Lake Pukaki here, it's pretty amazing. It was excitedly rolling in this afternoon so I thought we'd shoot up the mountain this morning and uh, make the most of this amazing view and the weather being pretty mint. If you haven't been here, like, this is New Zealand at its absolute best. You know, there's a few little four drive tracks and stuff but that's not what this area is about. It's just about the incredible beauty of this lake and the Auraki National Park. Looking forward to heading further into the valley and seeing I can recreate a photo that I took five years ago, I think it was. It's kind of just up there. And um, I drove down onto the, I guess the side of the lake bed there. And you got a photo with the clouds and the hills and things. And it looked really, really cool. So I'm keen to try and redo that. Very start of the Tasman Valley track. Basically up there, you can wind your way up the hill and see the lakes which are just over there. I'm not going to be heading up there today just as we have a little dude and he probably shouldn't go anywhere off road yet. But yeah if you can, it's a pretty cool place. Um, do try and do your research though before you come up and just make sure that it is open as all the snow falls on the hills there in the middle of winter and there is big avalanche risk. the lake of four drive track stop us walking up let's have a look at the lake now should be pretty cool the view behind me is amazing having done the walk and the drive now i've got to be honest and say that the walk is actually better The view from the top is absolutely mind-blowing, though it is sad to see how much the glacier has retreated over the years. Right, found a little turn off. It takes us hopefully out to where I want to get this photo. Check out the view. And um, yeah, photo of the truck. Try and recreate what I took five or six years ago. Should be pretty cool. So it's about six years ago that I unpopped my surf right here on a grey summer's day on our way up to visit Araki Ma Cook. Pretty cool to be back in the Hilux and um, recreating roughly the same view sunny though. Anyway, that probably wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching. No, it's slightly different than normal, but good. Now we are. Catch you next time. Overland and Z.